Sorry. I'm sorry, my fault. Wow, that's a lot of candy. Well, I have a lot of stockings to fill. I better get going, I have. Yeah, yeah, me too. Nice, uh, nice running into you. He was really cute, Allie. I wish you'd been there. And what is Mr. Sweet Tooth's name? I don't know. I didn't ask. I should have asked, right? Wow, Sarah, you're really smitten with this complete stranger. I am not. Oh, geez, I better get to work. I hope to find out about that big promotion today. Nobody deserves it more than you, Sarah. Good luck. Try not to collide with any more diabetes mongers. Thanks. Bye. Sarah, can I talk to you? Dr. Holly, sure. It's about that promotion you were up for? Yes. I'm so sorry, Sarah. There's been a really unfortunate turn of events. I didn't get the promotion? Even worse, the hospital has gone bankrupt. We're going to shut down at the end of the year. Okay, a few last minute gifts and my Christmas shopping is done. Oh, you, you again? again? Wow, that's a lot of toys. Candy and toys. You must be one terrific dad. I'm not. Not terrific? <laughs> not a dad. I'm Sarah. Well, hello, Sarah. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you, Nick. You too, Sarah. Well, I guess I should be going. Nice running into you again. <laughs> we really should stop meeting like this. Bye. Bye. Who was that? That was the girl I told you about. The one from the grocery store? Yep. You've run into her twice? Literally. Seems like fate. I don't have time for fate, Petey. I can't believe the hospital is shutting down. I just don't know what I'll do, Allie. This job means everything to me. My work is my life. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. There has to be something I can do. I'm sure you'll come up with something. I have to. Oh, by the way, I ran into that guy again. Candy guy? Yeah, his name is Nick. Well, he's a good distraction from everything else. Yeah, well... I'll probably never see him again. Nurse Sarah, we have a new patient. Multiple minor injuries and abrasions. The name is Nick Laws. Nick? Sarah? What happened? I fell off a ladder hanging Christmas lights. Candy, toys, and Christmas lights? You are really festive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Sorry, let's get you in for an x-ray. No broken bones, just a light sprain. You're a lucky man, Nick. Yep. 
Well, my shift is almost over. I just wanted to check in on you. Well, thank you. Sure. So, um, uh, bye. Sarah, wait. Yes? Would you like to go for hot cocoa sometime? Yeah, I... Um, I... You would... Sure would, yeah. Great. Here's my number. Call me. Yes! So did you always want to be a nurse? It's all I ever wanted to be. Which is why it's sad that... That what? The hospital. It's bankrupt. We're closing at the end of the year. Shutting down. Oh. I'm sorry, Sarah. We'll all be out of work. Brookhaven will be without a hospital. That's awful. So, what do you do, Nick? Um, uh, I'm in parcel delivery. Oh, like UPS? Nope. FedEx? Nope. It's a uh, small independent delivery service. You must be very busy this time of year. You have no idea. Everything's going so great. Allie, Nick may be the one. And I got a meeting with the mayor. She's on the board of directors of the hospital. I feel like finally everything is falling into place. It's not going to work out. This again. Why not? You've been so happy the past couple weeks with her. I know, but I just... I don't have time for a relationship right now. You know, my lifestyle, it's just not fair to her. The way I see it, breaking her heart and yours isn't fair to anybody. But that's how it has to be. Dr. Holly, I got a meeting with the mayor. Oh? Yes, she's on the board of directors and she agreed to give me 10 minutes of her time on Thursday. I'm sure together she and I can come up with a way to save this hospital. That's great, Sarah. You don't sound very excited. I'm sorry, I am. I'm just afraid it's too late. I'm still going to try. I have to. I support you, Sarah, and I'm grateful for it. Go for it. Hi, Nick. I'm just leaving work. Would you like to get together for a hot cocoa or something? No, sorry. I have plans. Uh, okay, maybe tomorrow then. Hello? Sarah, it's me. I can't make it. I have to work late. Again? What is going on? You're really doing this? I have to, Petey. A lot of people depend on me. I don't understand. Things were so good. Why did he change so fast? It really is strange. I mean... Is it me? No! No, of course not. Then why am I still single? There must be something wrong with me. 
Sarah, there's not, and I'm not just saying that because I'm your best friend. Thanks, Allie. Yeah, it's him. It's definitely him. Yeah, you're right. He really has been weird lately. Secretive, shady. And he said he couldn't spend Christmas Eve with you because of work? That's what he said. Not many people work late on Christmas Eve, Sarah. Apparently he does. Or does he? Let's find out. What do you mean? Let's spy on him. Let's go to his house and see what's really going on tomorrow night. Really? Yes! Let's do it! Okay, I'm meeting with the mayor at four o'clock. I'll come to your house after and we'll go from there. Do you think the mayor can help you save the hospital? I don't know, but I hope so. I really need something good to happen right about now. I hope you get your Christmas miracle, Sarah. A miracle. That's what it's gonna take, I'm afraid. Thanks for meeting with me, Mayor Brooks. Well, you are very persistent. Well, the hospital is very important to me. I have to fight to save it. I understand. Is there anything we can do? There has to be something. Fundraisers? Donors? Some kind of program? We've exhausted all options, Sarah. I've been on the board of directors for 16 years. The hospital, just like every building in this city, is important to me as well. But I'm afraid there is no hope. No hope? How can there be no hope? My whole life, I was so sure everything would always work out. I would have a wonderful job. I would fall in love, get married. Life would be full of hope, but as it turns out, nothing is the way it was supposed to be. I'm losing everything I had hoped for. What am I supposed to do if there's no hope? When there's no hope, your only shot is a Christmas miracle. I don't know if this is a good idea, Allie spying on him like this. What if he sees us? Shh. Sorry, I'm just really nervous. What is he doing? He's leaving. He's going somewhere. Let's go. What is he doing here? I don't know. It's just a bunch of closed businesses and empty buildings. Sarah, I have to go. Call me if you find out anything. Merry Christmas. Bye, Allie. Merry Christmas. <sighs> I should probably go too. There's no point in finding out what Nick... Wait. What? Is that Nick? What just happened? Nick! Sarah, I'm sorry. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Is this real?
Attention, everyone gather around. I have an announcement to make. First of all, Merry Christmas. Thank you for being here today, providing care to those in need. It's what we've always done and were born to do. Second, I have some big news. I just found out that a very generous benefactor has made a donation to save the hospital. Oh, that's I know I'm in disbelief myself, but it's true. Because of our Christmas miracle angel, St. Luke's Hospital will remain open. Dr. Holly, who was the benefactor? Now, Sarah, I shouldn't. Please, you know how hard I fought for this. Please tell me. Uh, okay. A local man, recent patient, Nick Laws. Nick Laws? I tell you, I'd love to thank him in person and tell him, you're a saint, Nick Claus. You have no idea. Well, your shift is almost over, Sarah. Got big plans for Christmas night. Well, there is one thing I need to do. Nick! Sarah? I owe you an explanation. You owe me nothing. You saved the hospital. And you're Santa Claus? I wanted to tell you, but it's kind of an unbelievable secret. I believe it. And I believe in you. I believe in you too. Sarah, will you be my Mrs. Claus? Yes! Come on, listen to me. 